There are plenty of surprises so far in the A-League season, but the biggest surprise of all is Melbourne victory. New coach, new players, new tactics, 10 games into the season, and we're really struggling. Victory currently sit eighth in the league with the three teams below them have one or two games yet to play. So it could look much worse than it currently is. Right now we have conceded the second highest number of goals out of the whole league and scoring only two more goals than Central Coast Mariners who are bottom of the league. What is happening at Victory and how can we recover from this mess? Let's get straight into it. I've broken this down in three main issues. Firstly, it's key players leaving. Victory lost most of their best players players because of the damn salary cap. We lost Costa, Antonis, Honda, Troisi, and Niedermeyer. That is literally the spine of the team. The core players of the squad. Barbarusius was leading from the front line. And yes, he missed a ton of chances, but he was a very direct player and knows how to make the correct runs. Antonis, he was very decisive in the midfield. Honda, receiving a lot of attention from other players, which draws them towards him and creates space for his teammates. Niedermeyer was a commander in the defense. And Troisi, well, I never really rated him, but he was a presence. All five of those players played a very crucial part in the success of this team in previous years. That doesn't mean that Naboot and the handful of midfielders that we brought in are bad players. And I'm not even gonna speak about Robbie Cruz because if you know anything about me, I don't really like Robbie Cruz. In saying all this, the team hasn't had the time to gel together. It's pretty much a completely different side. Secondly, the new signings. The season started pretty well when Marco Cruz decided to bring in some high caliber players with a very good CV, such as Robbie Cruz, Naboot and Poulsen who all have very high experience but a large number of this current squad have never played together. Actually our last game against Wellington only saw three players from the previous season in the starting lineup. Victory fans this is a process and it will take time to rebuild so as fans we shouldn't really get too impatient because right now the expectations for the remainder of the season is try to finish in the top six. Thirdly and the main issue is a change in tactics. Toivonen is our striker and it's probably one of the best strikers in the league. But his style is to come in deep, receive the ball and attract players towards him, which hinders players like Dobras who play in the midfield. However, we should be using Toivinen's style to our advantage. To do this, we should really be exploiting the space which he leaves behind him and the wingers making runs inside and then leaving a center mid floater to come forward and make a run inside the box in the middle. Also, since the start of the season, Victory's defensive structure has been very narrow. Defensively, our fullbacks come inside and look like we're playing four center backs. This leaves our opposition so much space to attack out wide and it forces the wingers to do too much defensive cover. Since when do we allow teams to come at us and we just sit back and watch? Where's the high pressure? Where's the intensity? We bought Traora who's a very attacking fullback and we're pretty much playing him in center back. And no offense to our players, we don't really have that someone who can step up every single week and get us three points. Hoivinen is probably our closest player to that, which is why we need as much attacking support as possible from those fullbacks, which is going to force this team to create much more more attacking opportunities. Going forward, majority of our goals, if not all of them, have been from counter attacks. It's a great tool to have, but it simply cannot be used against every single opposition. A transition is part of the attack, but it's never the only way to attack. Every time I've seen us try to possess the ball in the opposition half, we tend to give it up so easily. We need to be patient in the attack, building the ball up slowly, switching it from side to side, and taking control before we go and try to score a goal. The loss of this possession proves that the counter attack is the only method that we're trying to do. We're just relying on it too much. To be honest, I think this is an overall problem in the A-League, not just for Melbourne victory. As a country, we really lack that patience. We never step on the ball and just think about what we're doing. It's always force the passes, try to score right now when we should know that the game goes for 90 minutes so be patient with the derby against city fast approaching cruz really needs to sit down with himself and think about attacking ways to win this game but who knows maybe a conservative style against city is the way to go but we must be clinical in our attacks lastly i want to mention the young players that are coming up for victory Carrigan, lawton hope kida they're all not getting the significant game time they need and i'm not saying they should start every week but we have seen when the foreign and experienced players players are away on international duty or are out injured, the youngsters are still not depended on. All in all, Anthony Di Pietro and his board need to sit down together and evaluate what we need to achieve as a club. Are we holding off until the next TV deal to do something? What will happen in the January transfer window? Will Dobras leave? And lastly, can Victory get anything away from the derby this weekend? Or is it too late and City have all the momentum? If you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, share, follow us on social media, share us on social media, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you know when a new video comes out. This was Football Oasis, and we'll see you next week.